back on the DraftKings postgame show. Love you as a come from behind 52 49 winner over We Got Ice. That's Mel. I am Chris. That was fun to watch. A ton of great defensive plays. It was, and I thought it was just going to be a, a defensive match, really, because uh, uh, both of them, the m- amount of runs that they saved with some spectacular fielding was absolutely brilliant. But when it came to that final innings, wow, that was just the explosive power of the bat. It was just too easy in the end. So, yeah, it was it was nice to see a game that just kind of went between defense and offense, as you would say, um, but just sort of seesawed a little bit until that last run home. And how about the last two pitches of the game? We saw Hamad blast one for six and then a little, what do you call it? The it's scoop? It's like a little scoop. A little yeah, scoop yeah. off the back wall to give Lovias its first ever non-blitz ball win inside the warehouse. In fact, the star of the game standing by with Kelsey. Well, that was an exciting game. We saw a major league cricketer versus a major league cricketer, and you ended up winning that battle. You walked it off. Just walk me through that moment, the environment in the warehouse, and how good it felt to do do that against somebody you know really well. Uh, I mean, like it was fun, exciting, but at the same time, there is a pressure at us at all. Uh, some like because we never played here, like we never played this kind of cricket. So it was fun, and you know, it's good to be on the winning side. So I'm happy. We've seen a lot of the new guys come in and have to make adjustments. It felt like you didn't really struggle with making adjustments. Um, how proud were you of your ability to come in here and adjust to this game so quickly? Uh, I mean, I was uh, like practicing from the morning, like in the breaks, like I was doing all those things. And as I say, like there was a pressure on me as well, like because we never played here. But it was fun. Like it was fun. It's good. Like it's it's kind of same same like cricket. So it wasn't too like too bad for me. So. Was the environment more exciting than you thought here? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it was, like, really, really good, really good. Congratulations on the win. Love you is getting their first win in not a Blitzball game here in the warehouse. A great game from them in game four of BIP2. All right, so an awfully tight game in game number four, ball and play league. We got ice good enough to join us right now from the media room. Jack, I'm curious about your decision there in the last frame. You were the DraftKings golden bowler. You could have continued there. Why didn't you? Uh, I think we didn't want to give them give the hitter the same look twice. Wanted to change up as much as possible. Uh, yeah, I think at the end it kind of would have been the same result. So I, I like her decision. All right, big W for Lovius who gets on the board with a win in a non-blitz ball game. Guys, congratulations. And Peter Moylan, I don't want to say you were the difference maker, <laughs> but, dude, you haven't played cricket since, like, like you were eight or something. Backyard cricket when I was eight years old, Rosie. Just, just in you. <laughs> just in you when you're Australian. You just get on that field and it just you see the pitch. It's over, mate. Mo, you are the uh, professional here. I'm curious about your experience because you looked so comfortable there when you were striking and while you were bowling. And then, of course, you came up with this amazing defensive play. <laughs> I thought crazy. that ball got stuck in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a great outing. And then I actually watched a couple of the games uh, from last year of uh, We Got Ice. And uh, that's how I got to know them, uh, Jack and Zoe. And then uh, uh, today, when, uh, like from game one, we are together. Uh, I have almost, I guess, practiced 200 balls <laughs> since morning, <laughs> so that helped. And other than that, it was a great outing. Like We gelled together very nicely. It was the first game, first outing, so it's, it's good for us. Dalton, there was plenty of that from you as well along oh, yeah. that back wall. You were throwing yourself around. Uh, do you actually care whether or not you break any bones? Everyone has a role <laughs> on this team, whether it's bowling, hitting, or fielding. I, I'm the fielder. You know, I'm going to lay out my body. I know what I got to do to help us win. These guys are excellent bowlers and strikers. They did their job. We caught the W. I don't care about my body. All I care about is W's on the board, Mel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it seemed like you were trying to get Jack on strike, but then we saw you, like, smoking it for four. Is, it, did, were you afraid to back yourself a bit there, or did you just think that he was the right man for the moment? I have a bit of a pop-out history, so once we got two wickets, I was like, it's a really high risk that I'm going to pop it out. But honestly, Mo is a great leader this game. He gave me the confidence, just go swing. So I was like, all right, why not? And we're going to be a good team. I have the feeling. Defensively, we're going to be nuts. All right, Nikki, it's been a struggle for you guys. Not outside. Blitz ball, you've been fine. Right. Sure. Floor ball, <laughs> not great. Right. <laughs> nope. Ball and play. You didn't get a win last season at all. Nope, right. not one. Nope. Now, yep. now do you have that confidence that you can send out to your more than 
one million Instagram followers to say love you is his back. It feels it feels great. And you know what? You know, we can always control what we can over here. And that's our effort, our attitude, and our bond between each other. And we just got a good group. You can feel it, Rosie. And it just feels damn good to, to have a W in the column besides the Blitzball games. Man, I got to be honest with you. Amen. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have this great tournament. We wouldn't have these great press conferences if it weren't for our friends and our sponsors over at DraftKings. DraftKings Sportsbook is here to help you get closer to the action. Wondering what the DraftKings Sportsbook app offers? We'll check out the DraftKings parlays, same game parlays, and SGPXs. Combine multiple bets together from the same game for a shot at even a bigger payout. And if sports betting is still not available in your state, you don't got to worry, my friend. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win some cash prizes. So get some skin in the game and download the DraftKings app right now. And don't forget to use our promo code WAREHOUSE. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Tonight we're giving out 500 bucks. That's Perry. He's actually upstairs. He probably just sent that email. <laughs> it's good. It's good to know he's working. That was fucking nuts. That was awesome. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> Biggest takeaways from game four here in the warehouse. Team Love Yous, watch out for him, man, because Peter Moylan, we didn't know what to expect. We expected hopefully good things, obviously 12 years in the big leagues, but he hadn't practiced at all for this. He's never played in the warehouse, but that did not seem to matter. He locked right back in to competition mode, and we got ice, a team that we're used to seeing dominate in this warehouse because they have made it their home. Really tough game for them in ball and play too. So that wraps up game four. It is Love Yous that takes it over We Got Ice. And now we're getting ready for game five. Let's go, baby. Let's get you up to the booth, set you up for this game. It is Team Baggage versus Wooga. Some are saying it's the O'Brien Bowl. So Chris and Mel, take it away. You know where we are. It's Jersey City, <laughs> New Jersey, inside the warehouse. We continue on as we welcome you to the pregame Ball and Play Season 2, presented to you by DraftKings. This, of course, Melinda Farrell. We've got Kelsey Winger down there on the concrete. I am Chris Rose. Pair of winless teams get ready to go at it. We got the Wugas taking on Team Baggage. Team Baggage, obviously the most experienced team when it comes to the warehouse games. In their season opener, they got Lou dabbed. <laughs> they got Lou smashed. Yeah. Uh, basically. So it's hard to know where they're at as a team because the way he played in the first game, I reckon that would have blown away pretty much any team, surely, in my vast experience of this tournament. Now, as far as Wugas goes, uh, they're – the youngest team we've got. Everybody is 24 and younger, and so when they made their ball and play debut, they come out of the gates great, right? They get three quick wickets against the defending champs, hook, line, sinkers. They gave up just 15 runs. They go to strike, and they score a whopping nine runs. This is nine fingers. Nine <laughs> runs. They end up losing by double digits. Yeah, but it was a, the bowling performance of Sanjay Krishnamurthy that was really, really impressive. What they worked out, though, the opposition last time was how to pick his mm. fastball and his slow ball. He said he was going to work on how to disguise that. So I'm going to be watching out for that today. All right, time to hear from both teams. Kelsey. So there's one thing I don't want you to ask. It's how we're going to score more runs, all right? I just want to. Well, you guys only scored 59 <laughs> runs in your game yesterday. So how will you score you more runs 59 today? 59 runs? 59, but you're playing against the team who gave up the most runs in the first round. 59 runs is so much more than I thought we got at last game. We got nine runs in the first inning. That second inning was pretty good. We'll just do that again. For you, Rob, at new training routine, we saw you implement today, actually coming into the warehouse early um, to get some yoga in. I guess if you had to describe your performance yesterday in one yoga pose, what would it be? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, downward, downward dog. dog. She set you up for that. Yeah. Cause Kelsey knows what she's doing. There. You're right, yeah, because I was, you know, just, yeah. But no, that's, uh, that's a routine Feeble I have. position. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I kind of do that every morning. Um, you know, get the body loose. It's good to always get the body loose as I'm getting older, you know. I already got a bad back, so it's just like, 
you know, I gotta just at least move in the morning or else I'm fucked. By the way, if you do the math off the top of my head, if you just like take our second inning, cut that in half, and make that our first run, inning runs, I think we win that game. Do that math again. I think we did. I think we had 24 left. I don't know exactly what it is, but like Keep up with that math. That was easy. the second second inning we scored a good amount. If you take half of that, put it in the first inning we score that, like. I don't know what I'm saying. Lost by 20 but points. are you taking the 25 away from the second inning and adding it to the first inning? I don't know what I'm doing. All I'm saying is that first inning ain't going to happen again. And if we just play decently, we'll be all right. My dad's so. coming. <gasps> oh, that's wonderful. Me, ver me versus Luke. Oh, yeah, this One of us is. is going to go undefeated. Okay, so he has beaten you in the warehouse before. Who is your dad cheering well, for? Well, uh, my dad is cheering for um, one of us. He's cheering for the extremes. Like, one of us to be devastated and the other to be okay. excited because that means it was riveting. My mom is cheering for me because Luke hasn't called her recently. I actually had to tell him, hey, call mom, she's getting upset. Oh, that's I am a son that calls my mom. Oh, man. That's not good that this has made it this far. Um, I gave her a few rings this week and, you know, I'm a young kid. I'm living in the city. Sometimes I forget about calling my mom, which is a big mistake and I feel bad about it. I didn't think I'd be talking about it in a pregame interview, but I'm going to make up for it, and my mom is always rooting for me. She is upset that one of us will be 0-2 at the end of this game. Yeah. I think if one of us had a win, then it's, she's going to be rooting for the winless kid. Yeah. But we'll see. Call your, everyone at home. If you haven't called your mom in two weeks, call your fucking mom. Dan, how often do you call your mom? Um, well, I see my mom, like, all the time. So not never, actually. But like, I say hi to her every day, you know? <laughs> yeah, I see her in person. Are you on vibe check? Oh, oh. <laughs> are you? Oh, vibes are good. Oh. Joe's vibes are good. Yeah. Strike. Easy. Look at this. Oh. Stretching. Whoa. Hey, keep it in front. Come here. This What's your vibe, pal? My vibe? Okay. What? It's okay. Oh, the vibe is just jumping off the charts once again here in the warehouse. Before we uh, break a little bread and get out of here for the day, it's time for our predictions. Kels, what do you have? Ah, winless teams facing off. For me, I'm going to go ahead with Team Baggage. You talked about it earlier, but the nine points from Team Wooga in the first inning and their first game was pretty concerning. But as for Team Baggage, they gave up a lot of runs. It's going to be a battle of a, maybe a slower <laughs> offense taking on a pitching strategy that does look to change a little bit today. You're going to see Father Shea worked into their game plan a lot more, see what they got with him, and they're going to make some changes on the pitching side. So I will take Team Baggage in the O'Brien battle, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going for that as well. I just think they were really unlucky to come up against Lou Dab. I think they've got more in them. I have no evidence to back this up, but I just believe in team baggage today. Well, I'm pretty sure I've taken Ofer in the predictions. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten one right so far. So let me be the first to apologize to Team Woogas. I think I they're near and dear to my heart because I my oldest son, I think, is older than three of their four team members. So I'm rooting for you. It's like uh, I've got four more sons down there. Go Woogas! Sorry if that's the kiss of death. I apologize. So make sure you tune in tomorrow night to see who gets win number one on the season. For Kelsey and Mel and our amazing John Boy Media production team, I am Chris. We'll see you for First Pitch.